Hi, managing your personal brand is an extremely important part of your professional journey. Whether you are a student, whether you're a working professional, an entrepreneur, an influencer, or even a CXO. If you have to manage your professional brand, LinkedIn is the place to do it. If you manage your brand well on LinkedIn, you are bound to get a lot of visibility, a lot of opportunities, that interview call you're looking for. And also you can use LinkedIn to share your views on topics of corporate interest. In this video, I'm going to talk about my own LinkedIn journey on how I went from 1500 connections to about 18,000 connections in a year, year and a half. And what are some of those principles which you can use to build a stronger presence on LinkedIn? My name is Sandeep Das. I am an MBA from IIM Bangalore with nearly 13 years of experience in FMCG and consulting. I'm the author of three successful books with my third book, Hacks for Life and Career, A Millennial's Guide to Making It Big, being a bestseller on Amazon. The first step is actually a mindset shift that is required. So when I started off, this entire transformation journey on LinkedIn. I always had this fear that you should not show off your achievements on LinkedIn, whether they are your professional achievements or achievements outside work. I somehow used to think that you should not use LinkedIn as a 24 seven PR vehicle. And this is the first mindset shift you have to make that there is so much noise and there is so much clutter that you actually have to stand out and it is completely normal to talk about your professional achievements. There is a way to actually talk about your achievements on LinkedIn without it seeming like a 24 seven PR vehicle. And I'll touch upon some of these guiding principles, but the big mindset shift you have to make in your mind is that you have to talk about your successes on the social media platform. There are five broad guiding principles, at least uh, which I have leveraged scaling up my LinkedIn presence to about 18,000 connections. The first one is actually writing a very good profile and description about yourself. What this means is uh, against your picture, there's actually a two to three line item where you can talk about yourself. You should ideally not just talk about your designation, but you should talk about your work you're doing, some of the skill sets you have, and potentially even your education. If you look at my own write-up, I use all three lines. I talk about my role, I talk about my literary achievements, and I talk about my education. The next thing you should look at is the picture. The picture of yours becomes very, very important. Use a high resolution picture, avoid something which you use on Instagram, get something professionally clicked if you need to. The third mistake which I often see people make is in the about section. People don't write enough about themselves. In this section, you should talk about your work experience, your diversity in terms of skill sets, the diversity in terms of the geographies you worked in, some of the numerical achievements you've made, your hobbies outside work, and a bit about your education. Use this section to the fullest and talk about as much detail as you can in this About Me section. So this is point number one. The second step to build a good LinkedIn presence is to create a video resume. These days, the video resume is a norm for most professionals. So what is a video resume? A video resume is a one minute video, not more than that, a one minute video where you talk about your work experience, your skill sets, your education and your hobbies. If it's one minute, it is not expected to be more than seven to eight sentences. How do you actually shoot a video resume? You just stop, take your phone and the way I am speaking in front of the phone right now, you can just shoot a one minute video, edit it, make it tighter and put it up on your LinkedIn page. The third guiding principle is you have to actively seek increasing quality connections on your page. So how do you do this? Look out for influencers. There are a lot of content creators on LinkedIn. Look out for your peers and look out for your seniors who are working in the companies or industries of your choice and send them requests. A lot of influencers, people like me, will accept your connection request. So after you see this video, why don't you send me a connection request and I will accept it. Now you can slowly start increasing your connection count 
as you send connection requests to these three sets of people influencers your peers or your seniors who are working in the company or industry of your choice what this will do over a period of time is you will get a lot of exposure to very good content content which influencers put up it will be good for you and it'll also teach you in a way in terms of how to put up good content on linkedin the fourth principle is in terms of posting interesting content and that is essentially how you increase your linkedin profile and the number of connections The first mindset shift you need over here is to think that whatever you have is actually very good content and just because you're not in your 40s or your 50s or not heading a company doesn't mean you have don't have good content. When you think of posting interesting content you should always start with a frequency in mind. So one post a week, two posts a week, three posts a week. I typically have a frequency of seven posts a week or one post every day. If you're starting in this journey, I would recommend one post a week is a very good starting point. The next thing is in terms of uh, what sort of content can you put up? To be honest, you can put up any sort of content where you actually had a learning from. It could be about a learning from a book you read, a learning from a movie or a web series you saw. It could be an interesting news article you read or it could be an anecdotal learning from your own life. Any of this could actually be content. The third thing to understand is in terms of the format of the content. The way the LinkedIn algorithm works is it prioritizes text and then images and then video. So if you put something which is a lot of text first, it typically gets more traction on your pages. The fifth point you have to understand when you think of LinkedIn is in terms of what not to do on LinkedIn and these are mistakes you should carefully carefully avoid. The first one is to avoid the two holy sacred cows which is religion and politics. Avoid posting on these two topics, avoid commenting on these two topics. LinkedIn is not the platform for this. The second thing you should also realize is you should not end up posting content of others just to get a few views. To give you an example there is often a very common post that talks about an HR manager who hired someone who was a fresher and not someone who was an experienced person and how that newbie went on to become very very successful typically a lot of people repost this content in their own names and it gets a lot of likes it generally doesn't help you at all The third thing you have to understand is never get into too many arguments on LinkedIn. If someone is uh, getting too offensive, even borderline abusive, you should feel free to walk off or even block that person if that incident is happening repeatedly. To give you a perspective, I have blocked nearly 2 to 3% of my connections because sometimes people do get abusive uh, unnecessarily on that common platform. When you're trying to build an image on LinkedIn you should also be careful about the time you're spending on LinkedIn in my view you should not spend more than an hour to 2 hours every day on LinkedIn beyond that it tends to go to borderline addiction how do you keep a control on yourself there are settings in your phone which you can actually use to monitor the amount of time you're spending on LinkedIn inside i am and all tuni also offer certain courses on in increasing your soft skills and building a good profile some of the description to these courses are in the comment section let me actually ask you a question i've given you my five big themes in terms of how you can build a strong linkedin profile what are some of the other ideas you have in terms of how you can build a stronger profile you can drop your comments uh, in the video below or you can reach out to me on linkedin and we can have a conversation over that So in conclusion I want you to walk away with the message that building your personal brand is very very important for professional success and following some of the five principles I spoke of can be a great starting point to build a very strong LinkedIn profile. If you like this video please watch some of the other videos I have created on this channel and till next time take care.